This conference will now be recorded. Okay, okay, okay. So that means, okay, so uh, that means uh, you need, right? That I don't have. No, Akila is the one who is going to take this again. Again, tell me. Akila. Can you hear me? I'm, I'm the one, Akila, is going to take up the training. Oh. oh, okay, 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 okay. Hi, Nisha. Good evening. Akila. It's Akila. Akila. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. This is my yeah. husband's job. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, no problem. Hi, Akila. This is Sushma. I'm the trainer for security and the GRC. So I have 15 plus years of experience. I am working in the same technology in MS in company in Hyderabad. Okay. So this is my profile. So please tell me you need security training or GRC training. That means we have any, do you have any knowledge or do you have any experiences there? Or you are SAP means pressure to SAP. So tell me, please tell me your profile first. Then I will start. Uh, I'll be, I'll be I'll be, I'll be starting as a beginner. Hello, Sushma? Okay. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Yeah. I can hear you. Yeah. So I have uh, no knowledge about SAP as much, uh, not that much, no, not at all. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything you want from? I am a civil engineer. Basically, I've done engineering in civil engineer in civil. Okay. So okay, so we uh, don't have a, any knowledge, right? You don't have any knowledge uh, for SAP, right? You are fresher to SAP, right? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, no problem. We'll explain everything. Okay, don't worry. See, I think you're able to see my screen, right? Yes. Okay, that's good. Okay, so first of all, today introduction session. So what is the basics of SAP? We'll explain here, okay? So what is SAP? SAP stands for systems, applications, okay? And products, okay? And product in data processing, in data processing. That is called as SAP. SAP stands for systems, applications, and products in data processing. That is called as SAP, okay? See, SAP is a one of the ERP software package. ERP application, SAP is a one of the ERP application or software package. We can call it as anything, okay, ERP application. Okay, so in the market, we have so many ERPs are available. Okay, and not only SAP, we have other ERPs are available. What are those, you know anyone? Arkle is also one of the ERP application. And then PeopleSoft is also one of the ERP application and Bansoft also one of the ERP application, okay? So why we are choose SAP? What is the reason? So we have other applications are available, ERP applications. Why we are choosing this one SAP? What is the reason? The reason is here, here integrations is possible, okay? Integrations is possible and as well as migrations is possible. That means upgradations, migrations is possible here then all modules are available here. All modules are available. That's why we are choosing SAP. But coming to remaining applications, remaining ERP applications, is not possible. The integrations is not possible, migrations is not possible. All modules are not available, remaining ERPs, remaining ERP applications. But SAP only, these all, all things possible in SAP. Okay, that's why we are choosing SAP application. That means SAP ERP application. Okay, understand ERP means enterprise resource planning. Okay, enterprise resource plan. Okay, so that's why. What about integrations? What is the integrations? Integrations are nothing but SAP is integrated to, integrated to sales, SAP is integrated to MM, SAP is integrated to some uh, financial, financial thing, anyone. So SAP is integrated to other all activities, other all modules. Okay, so then migrations. What about migrations? Migrations are nothing but 
for example i have old sap system okay i have old sap system i want to migrate old system to new system i want to migrate old system to new system it's possible here okay sap old system to new system it's possible here migrations or upgradations anything next all modules are available so how many modules are there totally sap having totally 80 plus modules are available totally approximately 80 plus modules are available so these 80 plus modules are divided as a two two types of modules are there functional and then technical okay functional and technical okay so sap is divided as a two type of modules functional and technical so totally but totally we have 80 plus modules some modules are functional some modules are technical what are the functional modules what are the technical modules coming to functional sap mm material management sap pp production plan sap sd sales and distribution sap fico financial and controlling sap qm quality management then sap hr human resource so these all are the functional modules coming to technical what are the technical modules are available sap abop okay then sap then sap basis okay after then sap security our module is what our module is security so security is one of the technical module then sap grc grc also one of the technical module so these all are the technical modules these are the functional modules okay so approximately how many modules are available approximately 80 plus modules are available some modules are functional some modules are technical okay now briefly i can explain what is the technical modules okay see what about above module above module is fully programming fully programming okay who are the above consultant they will take care of the programming okay they will write the program in sap system they will run the programs in sap system who will take care take care by the abop team abop consultant okay sap people we can call it as a consultants so abop us will take care by the program next one sap basis what about sap basis basis module is nothing but system administration activities okay system administration activities means sap is a one of the software who is install sap software sap software is installed by the basis consultant okay basis consultant they will you they will they will um, they will install sap software so for example any system issues are there who will take care of system kind of issues sap systems kind of issues kind of those kind of issues are taken care by the sap basis consultant okay our basis people they are doing system administration activities okay any type any type of errors are came that is a system related issue is there that is uh, resolved by the basis consultant next what about sap security sap security is nothing but we will provide will provide correct access we will provide correct access to business users okay business users you know so coming to coming to real time we have two types of users what are those end users and as well as it users end users and it users who is the end users who is the it users you know it users are end users and end users so who is the end users and who is the it users who is the end users who is the end users uh, end users uh, okay it see okay who is the who is the end users means so end users are performed by the day to day business activities who will take means who will perform day to day business activities so those all are we can call as end users or we can call it as a business users we can call it as anything okay it users are nothing but we are the it users we are the okay mm consultant and pp consultant and the security consultant basis consultant we are all are the it users okay then so we will provide correct access to business users so we are providing which access means as a security consultant what means what access we are providing 
that means we are providing user id and password okay what is the use of this user id and password see we can for example i want to log in sap system i want to log in sap software how to log in sap software by using user id and password without user id and password we can't log in without user id and password we can't log in so must and should we have user id and password then only we can log into sap system okay so for example if you take google account okay in google account we have user id and password we don't have user without user id and password we don't have a means we can't log in uh, google account same process we can log in sap software by using user id and password that's it give me one okay so sorry for the disturbance here without user id and password we can't log in sap system so we can means we can log in as any sap system by user id by using user id and password so who will provide this credentials who will provide this user id and password security consultant we are provided okay we are provided next one then so not only user id and password we can provide transaction codes also what is the transaction codes we can run business we can run business in sap system by using transaction codes so for example i want to create user id in sap system how to create by using transaction code okay by using transaction code for example i am the sales consultant i want to create sales orders in sap system create sales sales order orders Your voice is not clear, Shushma. Same. I want, for example, I want how to by using transaction to create a generate account in SAP system. How to create by using transaction codes? If you perform any transaction codes, you create or delete anything. Uh, sorry to disturb, but what you said earlier. Okay. Yeah. If you create easy how to create, how to provide transaction codes. Uh, we lost you actually for a few minutes. Yeah, that means uh, you were yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, the, your voice is breaking. Yeah, tell me. But, but your voice is also breaking for us. I mean, we are not able to hear you clearly. Oh, okay, okay. Wait one minute. Uh, actually, I can hear Sushma voice clearly. I feel uh, like yours is like come out of him, uh, like you're far away from the mic, something like that. Yeah. Uh, we have lost a few minutes and then come back again. This is from my So when okay. she. No, no my, my wife is clear. No, my wife is clear. Yes. Now it's clear. Okay, okay. Yeah, tell me. Hey, hey, we do you have any doubt? I mean, um, we're just saying, uh, why do we use transaction codes? So, what is the use of transaction codes? Mean? We, for example, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, continue. I mean, uh, to enter into the SAP system, uh, we we need user ID and password, and for that we use uh, T codes. So, from there onwards, yes. uh, there was breakage in the audio. So, from there. Oh, okay, 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 right. See, by using transaction codes means, for example, once we are, uh, means once we are um, logging into the SAP system, okay, so by using user and password. After then, for example, I am the sales consultant. Just assume, I am the sales consultant. Daily, I want to create sales orders in SAP system. How to create sales orders? By using transaction code, okay? For example, I want to create general ledger account in SAP system. Okay, general ledger account. So by using transaction code. 
I want to create user ID in SAP system. How to create by using transaction? So if you create anything, if you delete the means, if you delete anything in SAP system, if you do any changes in SAP system by using transaction codes, by using transaction codes. Okay. For example, if you take Java systems, okay. So once we are logged in Java system, how to run the business in Java systems? We are using uh, which one? How to run the business by using by using coding, right? Coding or programming. Okay, by using coding or programming. Next, coming to Arkil. So, how to run the business in Arkil system? Through through commands, right? Commands. Okay. Next, coming to SAP. How to run the business in SAP systems by using transaction codes. By using transaction codes. So same like as a here also. Java systems, we are using programming or coding. Linux systems, we have any other systems, means RQ system is there, we are using commands. Coming to SAP, we are using transaction codes. For example, you are newly joining in my company. So you are the sales consultant. You are the sales consultant. As a security consultant, what's my responsibility? What's my responsibility? So first I can create your user ID in SAP system. Okay, first I can create your user ID in SAP system. Then after then, so then I, I will provide transaction codes. You are the sales consultant. I can provide only sales transaction codes. So we have a different transaction codes are there, module to module. MM having MM transaction codes, PP having PP transaction codes, SD having SD transact transaction codes. Our module having some transaction codes are there. Okay, what the sales consultant? I can provide only sales transaction codes. I can't provide other module transaction codes. Okay, so how to provide transaction codes access to users by using roles? Okay, through roles we can provide transaction codes access. So what is my responsibility as a security consultant? What we are doing? So we are providing user ID, pass and password. Then we are providing transaction codes access to business users and as well as IT users and as well as IT users. Okay, understand? Any doubt so far here? So we have functional and technical is there. So as a security consultant, what is my what is our responsibility? What is our roles and responsibility in SAP system? What is our job? Our job responsibility is we can create user ID and password. Then we are providing transaction codes access to the user. Transaction codes access to the user. So how to provide means we can use roles. Okay, roles is nothing but one of the part. How to create roles and then how to provide the transaction codes access to the user. So these are all things we are explaining under my training. Okay, so coming sessions we are explained. Okay, any doubts so far here? No, I'm sure. no, okay, right. Okay, right. Then the next topic is SAP landscape. SAP landscape. See, once we can get the job, daily we are working this landscape. Daily we are working this landscape. We have three system landscapes. The first system is development. First one is what? Development. Next. Okay. Next one is testing system, QASR, quality assurance system or testing system. Anyone. Then third one is production. Third one is what? Production. Okay. Three systems are the development, testing and production. Okay. So in development, what we are doing, testing what we are doing, we'll explain clearly, say this one. Just I'm taking one example. So this is called as, this is the development system. Okay, this is the QA system. This is a production system, okay? One system to one system, we have a connection is there. Development to QA, QA to production, okay? QA to production. Then, so just assume this is the development. This is the QA. This is a production, okay? So here this route is nothing but TMS, transport management system, okay? This is also TMS, transport management system. Okay, development to QA, QA to production, we have a route is there. Who is established this route? This route is established by the basis consultant, okay? Basis team, they will, 
uh, means they will create this route. They will establish the uh, they will establish the connection from development to create. Then from QA to production, who will take care? Take care by the basis consultant. Okay. Now, in development system, as a security consultant, what we are doing here? Not only security consultant. For example, just as you, I want to implement one software. I want to implement one application. I want to implement one application. I want to implement one software. Anyone. I want to implement one software. So where we can implement so anything, all implementation, all implementation we can perform in development system. Okay, in development system, we have a full access. In development system, we have full access. That full access means we have create access, delete access, and change access, and we have other access also available. Here we have a full access. If you want to implement any application, if you want to implement any software, where we, where we can implement in development system. Once we are implemented any application in development system, then we can transport. Okay. Once we are means for example, I can means uh, previous I implemented one software in development system. Okay. Then once implementation is completed. Then I want I I can transport that up that software from development to QA, development to QA. So that software is available in QA. The software is available in QA. Okay. Once QA system means this QA system is purely testing system. We have a separate team. Testing team is available. Okay. They will test the the software is working fine or not. The software is working fine or not. They will check here. Okay, testing is successfully completed. Then we can transport. We can transport the data. Means software. We can transport software from QA to production. Finally, that software is available in QA. Sorry, in production system. In production. Production system means this is the go live system. This is the what? Go live. Okay, that is the go live or production system as number one of the business system. Finally, the software is available in production. Okay. So we can implement anything in development system. Then we can transport the data from development to QA. So testing team is available here. Once the, they are tested here, so testing is successfully. Then we, are, we can transport the data from QA to production. Finally, the data is available in production system. In development system, we have a full access. But coming to QA and production, in QA and productions, we, have, we don't have a full access. We have limited access. We have limited access limited access means we have only display access in qa we don't have a create access we don't have a display access is there okay we don't have a create access we don't have a change access we don't have any delete access here we have only display access okay so we don't do any changes directly in qa and production systems we don't create anything directly in qa and production systems we can implement anything where we can implement in development system. Once the implementation is completed, then we can transport the data from Q development to QA. So testing is successfully, then we transport the QA to production. Okay. So that is the landscape. Understand? So this is the develop. For example, as a security consultant, what we are doing in a development system means we can create new roles and we can create users where we can create in development system. For example, today I created 10 roles. Today I created 10 roles in development system okay so i want to transport i want to transport those roles from development to qa who is responsibility transportation as a security consultant my responsibility is roles creation so i means i created 10 roles so my my job is completed my responsibility is completed then after then once roles are created successful in development system then i want to transport Okay, so we can transport the data from development to QA. Okay, roles transportation. I want to I want to transport the roles from development to QA. Who is responsibility? That is development to QA security team responsibility. Who is security team? Okay, as a security consultant, we can create roles in development system. After then, we can transport we can transport the roles from development to QA. That is our responsibility. Next one. So QA to production, QA to production, we are not responsibility, basis team responsibility. Okay, transportation time, 
both the teams are involved basis and security team okay security team responsibility development to qa basis team responsibility is qa to production that's it okay we are not involving qa to and production okay we are involving only development to qa okay so this is called as a sap landscape understand any doubt this landscape any doubt no no sir it's clear yeah tell me if you have any doubts are there tell me so we'll explain again again and again don't worry yes sir okay right okay then so this is a just training session i'm explaining this one okay so then coming to security part coming to sap security okay first we'll start r3 security okay first we'll start r3 security okay next r3 security or ec security we can call is anything okay ec is a security okay then under ec security first i can start user administration okay then we'll start role administration okay so coming to user administration how to create users in sap system how to delete uh, users in sap system how to sometimes we can log the users in sap system how to log the why we are logging why we are, we can log the users how to log the users then how to create multiple users in sap system so these all things we are explaining under user administration okay under for example or if you create for example if you if, if you want to create any user for example i created one user id so that user id is uh, something mm. sushma for example i created one user id sushma user id so finally we can save it okay so the data is stored into tables okay the data will be stored in tables sap tables so in sap we can call as a tables tables are nothing but database okay finally the data is stored into tables so different different data will be stored in different different tables that is called as user administration tables user administration having some tables role administration having some tables we have different tables are available how to open the tables so these are all things we are explaining under user administration okay next one coming to role administration so what are the topics we'll cover under the role administration means how to create roles how many types of roles are available we have three types of roles single role composite role and derived role what is the difference between single role to composite role composite role derived role after then once we can create roles in development system how to transport roles how to transport roles from development to qa okay then after then so we have other topics also there we have other topics in role administration under role administration what are the tables are there in table these role administration also we have it some tables different different data will be stored into some tables single roles are stored into one some tables composite roles are stored into one some tables and derived roles are stored into some tables then after then sometimes sometimes we can provide full access in production system some emergency critical situations in critical situations we are providing special access in production system how to provide okay which situations we are providing emergency access or special access to the users then troubleshoot issues so users having any issues are there how to troubleshoot the issues there is a security concern what type of errors we are receiving from the user okay what are the what are the tickets we are receiving from the users so these all things we are explaining under role administration after role administration we have other some other topic is a cua central user administration what is that central user administration okay what is central user administration why we are configuring so all companies all organizations are configured or not okay so these all things we are explaining okay then after then we can start grc you need grc we can start grc so what is the grc how many applications are there okay so what is our application security what is the, our security related application okay then our application having how many components if you are working grc implementation project what are the activities we can perform if you are working security implementation project what we are doing do so we have two types of projects implementation project and support project implementation is different and support is different both are different projects okay so both are will explain grc implementation will explain support will explain and security implementation project will explain and support project is will explain 
okay everything will explain don't worry okay so this is my training part okay so we will provide server access for both documentation server access recording everything will provide to you okay that's it each session security with the grc it will take duration is 40 uh, 40 session how many session 40 session 35 to 40 sessions okay security it will take 20 sessions okay and grc it will take 20 sessions maximum 35 to 40 each session one to one and a half hour each session one to one and a half hour okay understand this is my training okay under my training we will we'll follow these all things understand tell me any doubt so far okay if you are okay we'll start as soon as possible and we'll complete a, a minimum maximum 35 sessions or 40 sessions maximum so i'm not taking uh, uh, so much time okay so daily will take monday to saturday sunday we don't have a class so daily each session one hour one or one one and a half hour so daily will take one concept first we'll explain theoretically then i can do practically okay practical also i will show you server access will provide for practicing purpose grc and both security server access okay that's my that's my time okay right. okay then yeah. sorry i'm still yeah. here in uh, grc like which of the modules you are going to take it uh that means access control only okay what is the access control why we are taking access control means our application means security application is access control only okay we can't take a remaining applications okay mm -hmm. our access control is having again four components ARA and uh, EAM then BRM then uh, ARM these four components these four components are complete our GRC access control is completed ARA means access request means uh, access request and uh, I'm sorry access risk analysis emergency access management and BR means business role management then access request management okay five four four components are there we have other applications also there process control risk management and a global trade system or service means gts nfe audit management fraud management we have so many applications are there in grc but we can't take a remaining application our application is only grc access control so our application having four components totally okay understand so totally four components will explain everything era what we are doing eam so we have different components are there. We are performing different, different activities. Okay. So one component to other company, we don't have a uh, same topics. Okay. Different topics are there. Okay. Component to component. I can cover only access control. Mm -hmm. Configuration part or it's like it's a yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Access control configuration part, I will do it. Okay, we'll create one new client. Okay, yeah. then I can do configuration. So I'm not taking existing clients. Already configured clients are there, but I don't take configured clients. Okay, and yeah. under your friend, uh, so I can create one new client, then I can configure that new client. That's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Any other doubts? So that, that means that configuration is like connector settings and uh, hog level map settings. Yeah, everything. Yes, exactly. Create connectors, connector settings. Okay, how to maintain the uh, parameter IDs okay, in the system. Then, uh, so how to activate the BC set IDs. Okay, and then after then, how to create the rule set IDs and uh, how to create function IDs, how to create uh, risk IDs. We'll show you everything. Don't worry. Everything, connector settings, very important. Yes. First, we'll start post installation steps. See, GRC implementation project is started from post installation steps. Okay, first we can start post installation steps. Okay, then we can go component configurations one by one. First, we'll go ARA configuration, then EM, then BRM, then ARM. So, component configurations. First, we can start post installation steps. Then we can go a components. Okay, our work is started from this post install. Post installation means connector settings. We have totally 11 steps are there. Okay, 11 steps. These all 11 steps are one time activity. Daily we can't perform it. Only implementation time we are performing. Okay, so support project we are, we, are, we can't perform. Okay. Right. 
Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, okay, right. So if you are okay, we'll continue. Okay, thank you. Bye. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you. Bye.